I'm Corey Metcalf. I'm one half of Noisefold. I live in Montrose, Colorado. And I'm David Stout, the other half of Noisefold, and I live in Denton, Texas, which is on the north side of Dallas. We think of noise not so much as a sound you don't really want to hear. We think of noise more as kind of a prima materia, the field of all possibility. And so we're interested in this idea of filtering or folding that information and finding form within that. And when we uh, use this technique in our performances, one of the things we do is that we simultaneously generate an image and take the data that comprises that image and turn it back into sound. So uh, this project for the Museum of Glass, we're creating obviously stable solid forms, but it comes out of our practice of uh, actually animating in pretty wild and very organic ways, um, basically mathematical surfaces, structures that are created through basically uh, visualizing mathematical differential equations. And so we've created a system that allows us to take these surfaces and uh, do many different things to sculpt them in real time and to animate the way that they behave and move. So we set up a virtual reality interface that allows the gaffers to get right in there and uh, actually use a controller to rotate the forms around, change the scale, even get inside the thing if they want to. And we found in our initial experiments that it really helped the gaffers because they quite literally could get inside and around and look at a difficult uh, surface or um, component that isn't really that easily seen on a screen. We always ask for as many drawings as we can have. And uh, you know, with this, we can look at it and from any any perspective. Oh, you need a punny? Okay, hold on, let me get out of here. When we started out as Noisefold, we uh, took a, a lot of equations that were uh, put together on an open source database by Paul Bork, who's an Australian astrophysicist. And very quickly we were using techniques to blend that data, blend that geometry. And so what you end up with is these uh, highly complex novel forms. We can generate much crazier forms. Uh, we're not doing that. And we could iterate on forms that are much more traditional glass forms and make really interesting vases and things that would be more common to the glass vocabulary. But we're trying to go for that sweet spot where it's something that we think speculatively could be made in glass but is just a little bit harder than might be the typical form. More, um, more considerably more difficult but still within the realm of possibility. Within the realm of possibility. While these do stand alone from the, from the new media works that we make in terms of the projected or immersive installation environments and performances, um, we're definitely thinking about ways of bringing the two into conversation. And so taking the forms that, we're, uh, that we've digitally prototyped and figuring out ways of combining them in exhibition spaces with the actual glass objects that come out of the process. So we have to wait till they come out of the oven, of course, which is um, another uh, yeah. different, different aspect of this process than the digital. Um, and the other thing, of course, you can't just buy an extra hard drive when you get too many glass objects.